particularly electricity, which probably translates as many used to try and stick his fingers into electrical sockets. <laughs> or is it just my 21 mark holder that does that? Uh, Ram is currently studying to be an electrical engineer, and he believes that FameWab is an opportunity to show people a new way to look at science. Indeed it is. So please generate some applause, prepare for sparks to fly as we meet the electrifying Rami Kopp. <laughs> Charge. In such a case, when I need to recharge my mobile, the only thing I can do is to move from here to the blood. And while I'm being judged, this will be bloody embarrassing. However, science figured another solution for me, which is the wireless electricity. Which means, how can, make, how can I make a lamp glow without any wire? But, let's first talk about how we generate electricity. Imagine. This is an electric wire. This wire contains zillions of charges. And if we could move these charges with high speed, then we say we have electricity in the wire. So, let's make a deal. To have electricity, we need a medium, which is the wire, and we need force to make the charges move. And this is what we take from the plug. In our case, the medium is the air. And the force that can make charges move is the force of the magnetic field. But what are the magnetic fields? Simply, uh, uh, there is a theory that, sa that say, if a current flew inside the wire, an imaginary circle will be generated around the wire. And, as the, and these circles are called the magnetic field. And as the current go up and down, the size of the circles become bigger and smaller. And if it cuts another isolated, another isolated wire while it's being changed, these magnetic fields will attract the free charges in an isolated wire and make charges move. Hence, we will have electricity. Simply, imagine these box generate circles like that that change with high variable speed. And when cut a wire connected to the, to, the, to the lamp, it will make charges move and then we will have electricity. But, we still have a problem, which is, for the force that attracts charges to be enough, we need to be in a short distance, which is not practical. But the solution for that, which is called the idea of the magnetic resonance. And that means if we change the speed by which the circle changes size, until we reach a specific speed at which the force that attracts the charges would be maximum, then we call this speed the speed of resonance. And actually, since 2009, a group of MIT students succeed to make a lamp glow from a distance of two meters without any wires. And nowadays, we have many products in the field of wireless electricity, such as mobile rechargers. Long time ago, traveling through air was a magic. And nowadays, making a lamp glow inside my hands without any wires is also magic. But this is the magic of science. Thank you. The magic of science. George, get magical. Rami, I want your opinion, okay? Now you're a young engineer in communicating science and you're trying to inspire other people about science. What do you think is more important in order to inspire people? Is it the personality of the scientist or is it the scientific ideas? Uh, is it the idea of science or scientific ideas or is it the way you, say, you, the way you communicate? Actually, the, the first thing uh, I have to consider is the idea of science and how can it will be uh, but, um, uh, but, uh, the, the, the people will, will have benefit from it, and then I will try the most important, the most uh, proper way to explain uh, it to, to them. Mm -hmm. But uh, the most important thing is how it will be valuable for the people that I'm explaining it to them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what a lovely story. That yeah. Is. No, I mean I'm very, I am very interested in this because I have an interest in electric vehicles, electric cars and I drove a big electric car over a plate in the ground and it started to charge and I was going like that, looking at it sideways to understand <coughs> and you've just explained it clearer than the man who explained it so <laughs> not a, again, not a question, it's just a statement I like what you did <laughs> What about people with hearing aids, pacemakers aren't, aren't they going to walk near one of these and just keel over? <laughs> I'm sorry You know, mm -hmm. heart pacemakers, the electrical pacemakers yes. in the heart and people with hearing aids, yes. um, 
when they go near one of these devices, especially if it's at two meters, yes. will that interfere with the pacemaker? No, no, no. Uh, it's, it's about it's not about uh, any electrical device. This thing uh, must be. You, we use two separate coils. This coil must be highly resonated. So when power transferred from one coil to another coil, which will be connected to that, like the lamp to, to it, the power will be enough to affect the load, which is the lamp. But in normal case, it cannot affect any or make interference with anything else. And what's the, the real sort of theoretical distance that you can do this over? Because presumably, yeah. the, the bigger the coil, the bigger the distance is. Yes, it yeah, so actually, you need to yeah. cover a house or a football pitch, you need massive coils. Uh, no, you can cover a distance of a house if you like put the cons in different angles. So uh, with, with interference between magnetic and magnetic fields, it will be enough for all those. But, but, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> 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 <laughs>